big change for the city of Cedar Rapids. It doesn't look like anything is going to really delay uh, this process. Okay, so this is a live feed of the uh, yeah, demolition of a parking the ramp that we got going on downtown in Cedar Rapids, I hope. Good, not like we've seen with the Czech Museum, the Czech and Slovak oh, Museum, yes. a lot of delays there be due to weather. Exactly. I'm not going to talk to this, so a, you can just watch it. a slow scenario for the museum with all that rainfall that's been coming in June and July, and uh, now the weather looking good for this morning. And you can see Mayor Ron Corbett there in the, in the black shirt next to the gentleman uh, with the reflector jacket on, getting ready to push that button. Is that right, Mark? Yeah, he's any second here. He's uh, getting into place, and we're expecting a, a brief countdown and uh, it's just about on they're going through any final preparations everybody's just looking around and uh, this is gonna go any second here lucky bastard tats coming down right there now And we are waiting for the implosion of the First Avenue parking ramp. That sits just between the U.S. Cellular Center and the Roosevelt Apartments, a $75 million uh, redevelopment for that convention center. And this is the next big step for the city as crowds of people are out there. Our own TV9 Mark Carlson okay, out there up. right now. Shut up. Uh, you're getting ready to watch history happen. So we're taking a, a look. It's supposed to happen right at the top of the hour. So in just a few seconds, the building should be coming down. It's already past 7 o'clock. It's almost 701. Yeah, literally any second. Uh, not sure what the uh, delay is here. Doesn't appear to be anything major, though. They're just double checking. And uh, now they're calling for three minutes. So we're three minutes out, so a little bit after 7 o'clock. Um, they're going to push this back, so just a little bit after 7 o'clock, Nadia. And we've seen uh, the same uh, ZW Denser demolition crews out. Uh, taking down the ballroom that was attached to the former Crown Plaza Hotel just next door. Uh, and people are still hanging around the Roosevelt Apartments. That parking ramp is actually attached to them. Are people getting kind of nervous or anxious? What's the mood like there, Mark? Uh, I'm really not sure as far as uh, the Roosevelt. Uh, the, the mood that where I'm standing is everybody's just, like I said, kind of excited. And they want to uh, capture pictures and video, lots of smiles. That would be too. Um, they didn't force any mandatory evacuations of the Roosevelt uh, over there so I you know I think there are yeah, some people in there sleeping <laughs> that are going to be woken up here shortly but uh, no there shit. are no concerns I talked to the uh, the owner of the company and he says there's absolutely no concerns that building's going to be just fine it's um, this one right over here I think they'll, they'll right there. have an early morning wake up call but that's about it so uh, I imagine there's a number of people no in shit. there sleeping but uh, I think <laughs> they'll be alright yeah, yeah they're, they're definitely about to get a, a big wake up call I think, well, we were talking about that. That'd be one uh, interesting way to start your Saturday morning, <laughs> especially if you were unaware that this was going on. But I think they've done a great job of uh, getting it out, and uh, I would imagine the Roosevelt also sent through some uh, notices to all their tenants, uh, letting them know that this was going on. And uh, the city's done a nice job of letting us know when we've gotten it out. And so, uh, the, and which is obvious with the size of the crowd that's out here, people who really want to see this. And Mark, you had mentioned earlier in one of your live reports that some of the roads have been blocked off, even parts of 380 right now. Are you noticing that? Well, I'm looking at 380, and I can't. There's no traffic going by, so I imagine it is temporarily shut down. There is no cars <coughs> moving on the patch of 380 that I can see. Yeah, um, I wouldn't have cars anywhere near this either. Second Avenue, everything is uh, open, and there's some cars cruising by. But if you're uh, looking to the north of 2nd Avenue in this immediate area, everything's pretty much shut down, a lot of people standing in the streets, and we're all about okay, should be going uh, 100 off there in a yards, more, more than 100 yards, 200 yards from the scene, and they've pretty much blocked it off, um, so, and a lot of people kind of creeping up now trying to get a, a good view, and we should get a better idea here as to when they're going to uh, push this button, should be uh, any moment. Like I said, I'd imagine a brief countdown. She might just get trigger happy. So many people are out there right now, but it seems like you can get a pretty good view no matter where you're standing downtown Cedar Rapids. This is a pretty big structure that they're trying to bring down. Yeah, I imagine there's a, a lot of good views to be had. I'm looking across the way on top of the Quaker Oats building. There's probably about. Uh, oh, here we go. You hear the countdown and listen away. Here we go.
Oh, I can hear it. I can hear it outside. Am I? Did you hear it outside? <laughs>